My name is Devin and I'm here with Keith Hawkins. So Mr. Hawkins, um, I know today you presented for our conference. Um, what is what was the favorite well, what was your favorite thing that you presented today to everyone? I don't know if it's uh, if I even have a favorite. I think the favorite part of the whole experience is watching young people and also adults just come together and start talking about the things that really matter. To see them come in with their schools and come in separate and to leave together as one. And um, I don't know, just watching young people find their voice and, and know that what they say matter and looking at adults who are speaking up as well and giving you your experience, those experiences, but at the same time listening and growing and learning. So to have an environment where adults are learning as much as kids are learning or students uh, is phenomenal. So that's my favorite about all of I'm doing the leadership workshop. Okay, and what is something that you would like for the people watching and that you hope that everyone who attended today will take away? So many, that's a the loaded question. I want people to take so many things away. One is we are who we choose to be. Uh, you create habits and habits will create you. Uh, even going back to you are who you choose to be. You're amazing, you're incredible, you're gifted, you're strong. Um, schools cannot measure all the gifts that you have. And so I want students out there to know that um, there's something special in them. They have, an, they have a gift, they can do incredible things. And like we talked about today, it's all a process. So you gotta love it. It's hard, it's difficult, it's challenging, but that's what makes growth and that's the most important thing. And so I want, I want just everybody to know that you can do and become whatever you want. Uh, when you make that decision, the most powerful force in the world is decision making. So the moment you decide it, you decide to, to I want to do something um, great with my life. I want to do something to help others. I want to do something to make people proud. I want to do something that um, can change the world. I don't think those are just words. I think they're actions. And then um, one more, what is what is something you wish you could tell you know advisors of people who you know. Their kids come here or, you know, like from different schools all over, um, working with kids of different backgrounds and things like that. How, what would something that you would like to tell them? You know, I would like to tell all advisors, your staff, adults who work with young people. First of all, you said the words I wish. I, one of my teachers said, um, taught me not to wish because whenever you say the words I wish, what you're saying is I wish I can, but I can't. You know, I, I wish things would be better, but they're not. I wish this person didn't get in the car, but they did. I wish I could forgive them, but you're not. So I want to tell you right now what I will say. And what I will say to educators and adults who work with young people is, first of all, thank you for hanging in there. Thank you for not giving up. Um, thank you for loving these kids. Thank you for giving us what you need in terms of your time, um, your sacrifices, your acceptance, your love, your unconditional love, um, your support. Uh, thank you for giving that to us because um, it does matter, it does help out, and you don't get to see us when they become adults, but there are so many adults who are thriving because of the work that you do every day. And uh, it's hard because it's hard for a reason, um, it, because it's worth it. And I'm speaking from my experience, and just a question alone makes me understand that you're speaking from your experience as well, that they matter. Adults, people who work with kids matter. And that's where the question come from. It's like, hey, what can you say to them to help them? Because they, they really matter. And so uh, if it wasn't for you guys, um, we wouldn't be here. So. Thank you, Mr. Hawkins. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. You. And that's the end of our interview. Okay, so this is Joe Boyer. I'm the assistant principal at the Evergreen High School in White Center, Washington. Neither white nor centered. And we're here um, with some students and staff to really learn how we can operationalize student-led and staff-led culture building. So like, what are our routines? What are gonna be our rituals? Um, at our school, we believe that tu eres mi otro yo, you are my other me. And we really wanna take that lens and apply it to what are we doing in September, October, November? and how we're gonna build that out, and we're doing it with staff right here. So good luck, let us know what works for you, and it is always a great day to be a Griffin.